Hi and welcome back to the channel. My name is Tom and some of you might know me as Bowl of Salmon on Instagram. Today we're talking about The Twelve from Christopher Ward. The Twelve was introduced last year and is Christopher Ward's take on a very popular design. Christopher Ward isn't the brand to hide where they found the influence to their designs and if you take elements like a textured dial and the integrated bracelet, influences to some Gerald Gentle watches are never far away. But I guess you can say the same for a Jepec Antarctique or the Bremont H1 and of course IWC has the bragging rights with their engineer released last year. For this video I have two sizes on loan. One is the 12 and 40 mm Nordic Blue and the other one is the Steel 36 mm in Glacier Blue. The 40 mm feels right at home on my 16.5 cm wrist. The case height is just under 10 mm. There's a 44.5 lock to lock. In reality, it's a bit longer since that first link won't completely articulate and sits more at a 45 degree angle. The steel watch weighs about 160 grams on the bracelet. The 36 mm is a great alternative for anyone with a more slender wrist. Again, it sits just under 10 mm. It has a 40.8 lock to lock and it weighs 150 gram on the bracelet. Now as far as the overall looks of the watch, the designers at Christopher Ward managed to give it their own take. The case has a decagon design both on the front and on the case back. The bezel has a mix of finishing with sandblasting, mirror polish and linear brushed parts. If we turn over the watch we are greeted with an open case back and the six backplate screws provide another gentle nod. The screw down crown will provide the watch with 100 meters of water resistance. The textured dial also manages some originality with a pyramid pattern running across. There are the triangular applied indices with polished chamfers, the brushed Christopher Ward applied logo and the hands also have a mixed brushed and polished finishing. Both the hands and indices are blessed with a sufficient amount of X1 Superluminova. The watch has a flat sapphire crystal with a very good anti-reflective coating. The bigger the contrast, the easier the watch is to read so points go to the darker blue Nordic dial for me. Yet, I loved seeing the glacier blue on Mrs. Salmon her wrist, as those lighter colors look less heavy for her. The 40mm version has a color match date window, neatly tucked away at 6, while the 36mm version is a time only watch. Now I guess that these designs stand or fall with the integrated bracelet and I have very few complaints about those. The whole bracelet has a fine brushed finishing with each link having a polished chamfer on the sides and on the bottom where it connects to the next link. The careful consideration of the polished bits makes this watch still have a really tooly character. The bracelet is fitted with a quick release and you can also opt for a rubber strap to go with it. The bracelet has a butterfly clasp, there are no micro adjustments but the links have different sizes to try and find an ideal fit. I said try because I wish this could have been the first watch for Mrs. Salmon but we, we couldn't find a good match. Mrs. Salmon is not a watch person. An integrated steel bracelet as her first mechanical watch maybe is a bridge too far. As for the movement inside of the watch, Christopher Ward uses a tried and tested top grade Celita SW200-1 automatic with an estimated accuracy of about plus or minus 20 seconds a day. It runs at 4Hz which equals 8 ticks per second and it has a modest power reserve of only 38 hours. In terms of quality and feel, Christopher Ward does what Christopher Ward does best. It brings an incredible amount of bang for your buck. I guess the closest competitor they have is a Tissot PRX and I know that the 12 is a bit more expensive but it also feels a lot more premium. So how do I feel about these watches? Well I have never had the urge to buy one yet. I, I guess they don't feel like a me kind of watch but if I had to make up my dream combination I'll take a titanium bracelet put in a, a dark gray texture dial and, and mix it with some orange accents. That, I, I think that would be lovely. It would take a bit of inspiration from the Alpine Eagle. Maybe I should do a bespoke beast that'll be something right so what are your thoughts on these let me know in the comments or come find me on instagram is this too obvious i just realized i forgot to record the outro for this video i'm i'm such a noob right um anyway i'm curious to hear what you think about these watches let me know down in the comments or come find me on instagram if you like my videos, please take a minute to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps to grow the channel and find more brands. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.